we're going to start with a new topic, biotic community. So biotic community, in other term, it called as biota or biosynosis. What is this biotic community? Community is a term refers to the group or cluster. So there will be the group of lives which together in a particular surrounding is called biotic community. In other words, a group of organisms which live together, an interaction between the organism or the particular habitat is called biotic community. Ecology. Ecology in Greek origin, oikos, household, logos, study. So study of the house or the environment in which we live is termed as ecology. The term proposed by Rater in 1865, used and defined by Ekel in 1866. The study of relationship between living organism and between living organism and the environment is known as ecology. Organism cannot survive in strict isolation. They derive energy and matter for the survival from both living and non-living surrounding and are linked in the hierarchical chain. So this is called hierarchy. So hierarchy is nothing but it involves both the biotic and abiotic factors in their surrounding. And organism is the smallest or the basic unit of ecological hierarchy. So what is the unit of ecological hierarchy? Yes, organism. So these from groups and interactive form more and more complex level of ecological organization. These include species, population, biotic community, ecosystem and biosphere. I just repeat this point again. Species, population, biotic community, ecosystem and biosphere. So next we're going to study about what is species, what is habitat, what is ecosystem in detail. So here the study of relationship between the living organism and between the organism and the environment, it deals with ecosystem. So ecosystem is nothing but a community and its biotic environment. So there will be like cluster, right? Yes. So what is community? A group of population living and interacting with each other in an area. So this community which is responsible or which is lead to the habitat. So what is habitat? Habitat is a place or an environment in which a species normally lives. So in other words, we will call the location of a living organisms. Next, we're going to study about the population. A group of organisms of the same species living in the same area at the same time. So this term, it refers to the population. Species, a group of organisms that can be interbreed to produce fertile offspring. So here I just argue like a flowchart, a species, a group of species where it lives, that considered to be the habitat, a group of species where they were living. Okay, so that we will call as a community, where this community where, which is surrounded by the abiotic environment, it called as ecosystem and this uh, community people were living in particular area with the different species with the same area at the same time we will call that as a population and these all which is related to the ecology. Biome, a major regional or global biotic community which is characterized chiefly by the dominant forms of plant life and the prevailing climate. A biome contains many ecosystems. So next we are going to study about the biotic community. So community in an environment or habitat there will be like different types of plants and animals exist in close association and show interdependence and actively interacting group of a number of different population of several species in a common environment is known as biotic community. It is also known as biota or biosynosis. It is the group of organisms that live together and interact with each other within an environment or habitat. So please make a note of this. This will be in other terms. Together, the biotic community and the physical landscape or abiotic factors make up an ecosystem. So, a biotic community plus abiotic factors which result in the ecosystem. The assemblage of plants, species and habitat is called plant community. Of animal species is called animal community. Where it refers to the microbe, it called microbial community. A biotic community is a group of several population of different species. All the population are interdependent. It may be small as a pond community or as a grassland community. Exhibit both direct and indirect relationship. All the species are not equally represented. Some may be abundant than others. So here in this picture you can study about 
a group of species that is one ecosystem you can study. Next, we're going to study about the characteristic of biotic community. So first one, interdependence of animals and plant. Communities are not a random mixture of species. The animal, plant and microbial community of a biotic community shows fundamental dependence on each other. On that basis, they are nutritional interdependence, carbon dioxide to oxygen interdependence, that is the mechanism of respiration, okay? Interdependence in the pollination, interdependence in dispersal of seeds and fruit. In this picture, you can study here a deer, okay? So here, this uh, picture relates the nutritional interdependence. In next slide, here you can study the interdependence in pollination. So here you can study about the entomophilus. Yes, so here the insect pollination is taken over. So these result in interdependence in pollination. Next year you can study the birds. So here you can study the interdependence in dispersal of seeds and fruit. Trophic organization. A community is characterized by a definite trophic organization. That is trophic level. All species of a population living in a community can be divided into three trophic level. Producer, consumer and decomposer. So all these we were going to study in upcoming session. Stratification. In large terrestrial and aquatic communities, population of each species occupy a particular strata. So this is called stratification. In a forest community, the tree tops, the branches, the leaf litter and the soil bottom are occupied by different species. So that all which is result in forest community. A pond community a surface dweller, bottom dweller, and those living in the intermediate depth. So these all comes under stratification. So this will be one of the characteristic features. Next, we're going to study about the dominance. In any community, one of you species dominate either in number or in physical characteristic or in both over the species. In grassland, grass will be the dominant. Pine forest, pine tree will be the dominant features. Next about the variety of species. A community is formed of many species. These vary from community to community. A great variety of species are found in the tropical rainforest, whereas only a few species are found in polar community. Community interaction. In a community, there is interaction among the organism of the same species with other organism of our own community or among the organism of different communities. The organism are related to one another through cooperative or competitive action so that they maintain a balance. So this relationship between organism is classified into following two types. So based on the interaction, community are of two types. They are intraspecific relationship and interspecific. So first we're going to deal with intraspecific. It is the relationship between among the individuals of the same species. The cooperative interaction in the members of the same species or population include mating behavior, parental care, family formation, group formation, altruism, dominance to the subordinate behavior, animal societies and communication. So these all comes under intraspecific relationship. The competitive interaction or dominance, subordinate behavior, leadership and home range or territoriality. The cooperative relationship are beneficial for the same species. So all comes under intraspecific relationship. Next, we're going to study about the interspecific interaction. So here in the flowchart, you can study the environmental relationship is based on a two component. One is abiotic factors and other one is biotic factors. Whereas biotic factors shows interspecific interaction like symbiosis, competition, predatory to prey relationship. So on the basis of symbiosis, it divides into three types, parasitism, mutualism, and commercialism. Next, we're going to study about the positive interaction. So when we study about this positive interaction, it deals with mutualism, proto-cooperation, commercialism, and scavenging. So these all we're going to study in detail. In the positive interaction, first we're going to study about mutualism. Mutualism is nothing but the interaction between the two organisms of different species where both the partners are benefited with none of the two capable of living separately. 
So mutualism is nothing but there will be the interaction between the two organisms where it mutually benefited. Okay, so that term it refers to the mutualism. For example, lichens. So these represent an intimate mutualistic relationship between a fungus and green algae or cyanobacteria. So their body is made up of an algae and fungus, both living together in intimate symbiotic relationship. The fungus provides substratum, water, minerals and shelter to the algal component where the algae provides fungi with food, carbohydrates. So each organism will do uh, mutually benefited by one another. So these are comes under mutualism. Next is about proto-cooperation. Proto-cooperation is an association between organisms of different species in which both are mutually benefited but they can live without each other. It means proto-cooperation is equally beneficial for both but is not obligatory. In this slide you can study about the proto-cooperation is based on the hermit crab and the sea anemone. So sea anemone on hermit crab. Hermit crab in biological term we will call that as Euphagoras predaxi leaves inside an empty gastropod shell and fixes a sea anemone Adamsia palicata on the cell. The sea anemone provide camouflage that is the protective coloration and defense to the crab while crab helps in the dispersal of the sea anemone and provide new feeding grounds. So next we are going to deal with commensalism. Commensalism is an association between two different organisms or species in one is always benefited but the other is neither benefited nor harmed. Okay, so here in commensalism, there will be the interaction between the two different organisms but only one organism get benefited but neither another organism either get benefited or not armed. The species that derive benefit is called commensal and the other is called host. So benefit, so we are going to study about the commensal. Derive the benefits from the host in the form of food, protection, shelter, living space or transportation. So these are all about the commensalism. So here we study about the difference between the mutualism and commensalism. In mutualism, both the organisms were benefited, whereas in commensalism, only one organism is benefited, where other we can say that is an host. So where the host can provide food, protection, shelter, living space or transportation. So here you can study about the example of commensalism between sucker fish and shark. Sucker fish, echaniasis, get attached to under surface of the shark by its sucker. So this provides easy transport for new feeding ground and also food pieces falling from the shark prey to echinacea. Scavenging is the feeding by an animal on the remains or carcass of dead animals and on the refuse of living animals. In simple term, it feeds on dead animals. Okay. So the scavenging is a food relationship between a dead animal and its eater. So the eater is here it refers as scavenger. Example, animals such as foxes, hyena, vulture or the animal which are natural scavengers. Dogs, crow, hand are occasionally seen to do the work of scavengers. Next we are going to study about the community ecology. Study of interaction among all the population in a common environment is called community ecology. Example. Here we studied about the biotic community, pond community, forest community, lake community, etc. Okay, like a grass, uh, grassland community also you can include it under these. So in this slide you can study the picture for the scavengers. Students, so in this session we studied about biotic community. It vary in size and larger ones may contain smaller ones. The species or interactions are in evidence in food or feeding relationship. So here we studied about the characteristic feature of biotic community and the positive feedbacks. Thank you.